It was a different era when Ray Bellamy was a high school star in the mid-1960s in the small town of Palmetto, Florida. Integration had arrived at most colleges and universities in the Deep South, but when it came to college sports, athletic teams remained all white. Bellamy and the University of Miami broke that color barrier, thanks to the courage and leadership of former UM president, Dr. Henry King Stanford. I think it was uh, just a realization that we were wrong. As I get older and older, I began to see it. Andy Gustafson, the Dr. Stanford, you understand, if we recruit a black football player, LSU will cancel a contract. Well, it's We'll cancel our game. I said, who in the hell is making policy of the University of Miami, me or LSU? Bellamy signed his historic scholarship in December of 1966 and arrived on the Miami campus in 1967 as the only African-American player on the team. What are your feelings after being on the Miami campus for about three days? Well, I just love it. I mean, I really enjoy it. All the guys treat me real nice. And, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm kind of happy that I made the decision mm -hmm. to come to the university. Even though I am the first Negro, uh, I have no discrimination at all. All the guys, are, they treat people real nice. I'm going to give it to you bottom line, okay? And I'm not pulling any punches on this. All anybody want to know is if the guy could play ball. Didn't make a bit of difference to us. Bellamy quickly became a star player for the Hurricanes, catching 37 passes in his sophomore season of 1968. However, his career was later interrupted due to injuries suffered in a near-fatal auto accident. Still, he returned to Miami to earn his degree, and in 1971 was elected student body president. Bellamy was followed at UM by such Hall of Fame greats as Burgess Owens and Chuck Foreman, the first in a long line of African-American stars to play for the Hurricanes. Ray Bellamy will be remembered as one of the true pioneers, not just at the University of Miami, but in all of college football. Tonight, it is an honor to welcome him into the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame.